Hi guys, Sam so going to show you how to make the St. Patrick's Day garland. So first up, we're going to need some beads. I have two different packs of beads here. I have these Christmas ones I'm going to be using the gold beads from, and then I have these St. Patrick's Day beads that come in many different colors of green and white. I have some ribbon here, but I didn't end up using it, and then also these wooden shamrocks that we're going to paint with some green paint. Rather than use a paintbrush and get all of the paint strokes, I'm actually going to be using one of these spongy paintbrush things. I couldn't really decide what color green I wanted to paint these, so I ended up just using several different types of green and then designing them in different ways. Once one side is done, I paint the other side. Also wanted to get in there and do the corners as well. To make the polka dots, I just used the back of a paintbrush and dipped it in some white paint and put the polka dots on. My camera keeps wanting to focus on the top of my paintbrush, that's why everything gets a little fuzzy. To make the garland, I'm using this rope. I'm going to be stringing the beads on. I've actually found that stringing these beads on is easier if you twist them on with the direction that the rope is going, otherwise the rope just frays. Once I'm happy with the length, I decide how many of my shamrocks that I want to put on. I actually painted several other different types of shamrocks before this video. I have some Irish flag ones and I have these gold ones as well that I painted with gold paint and then added some glitter to. I measured out a piece of the rope so that way they're all the same length and strung it through the shamrock. And then did the same thing with all the other ones that I'm using. To tie them on, I am tying the rope in a loop, kind of like a Christmas ornament. To make them stay put, I actually ended up putting another knot down at the base, but I forgot to videotape that. Once all my shamrocks are on and I'm happy, I tie the ends off so that way all the beads won't come off. I also make a loop so that way I can attach it. Mm -hmm. 
And that's it. We're done. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and subscribe. Bye!